I am Dr. Avilash Nayak. In this video, I am going to talk about different kinds of support that we can extend to learners with disabilities in open and distance learning system. Every education system is mainly designed for people without disabilities. I mean to say the normal people. So when differently abled people yeah, people with disabilities, they get into an education system, they need different kinds of support. In this small video, we shall be talking about the different kinds of support that such learners need during their study in a university. So what are the different kinds of support that we can extend to such learners? First of all, academic support. What do we mean by academic support? Academic support means the different kinds of support that can be extended to them during their study inside the classrooms, after their study in the classrooms and to continue their study without much difficulty. In order to help learners with disabilities, the curriculum or the syllabus should be designed in such a way that learners of this category, they don't have any obstacle, they don't have any problem while continuing their studies. The courses or the syllabus should be redesigned. Second, the instruction and assessment methods in a university should be redesigned according to the needs of such learners. The teachers, when teaching inside the classroom, they should always see that learners with disabilities don't face any problem during their study inside the class. They should always be free to provide support to such learners in time of need in different ways. For example, a learner with visual impairment may want the teacher to write the letters in large font on the whiteboard. So the teacher should take into account the need of such learners while writing on the whiteboard. A learner with hearing impairment may need a teacher to speak louder than his normal voice. That will help such learners. Similarly, teachers in open and distance learning system try to integrate different kinds of technology which are available for such learners to help them continue their studies without much difficulties. Now let us talk about different kinds of administrative support that can be extended to such learners in open and distance learning system. Under administrative support, first of all, we should see that the admission data of all learners with disabilities should be properly utilized. All policies and plans should be planned accordingly on the basis of the data which have been generated after the admission is over. The institution or the university should have an inclusive policy. Learners with disabilities should in no way feel that they are different from others. There should be no discrimination for such learners. There should be strict punishment for learners who have negative attitude to learners with disabilities. There should be also facilities like scholarship and other things for such learners in the inclusive policy of the university so that the learners feel encouraged. The physical barriers in the university or the institution should be removed so the learners with physical immobility or visual problems, they don't have any problem while moving inside the campus. All the institutions should have no barriers, there should be ramps, there should be escalators, there should be different kinds of facilities for such learners so that they don't have any difficulty while moving inside the campus. Different kinds of activities and competitions should be organized for such learners, learners with disabilities so that they don't feel excluded when they are inside the university. Most importantly, Learners without disabilities and teachers and other people without disabilities and the support staff which help the learners continue their studies. They should be regularly trained 
in different kinds of support that can be extended to such learners during their study. Now let us talk about the different kinds of moral and psychological support that we can provide to such learners in open and distance learning system. As I have already said, the syllabus of majority of the universities are designed by keeping the normal students in mind. So when such learners, learners with disabilities, they come to a university, they are treated differently by the learners without disabilities. So such learners, they feel humiliated, devalued, discriminated. As a result of this, they also go through terrible stress and this impacts their academic performance. So it is the moral responsibility of the university, the teachers, to provide all moral and psychological support to such learners so that they are gain emotional strength, they gain support to continue their studies in the university without much difficulty. And finally, we shall talk about the technological support that we can provide to such learners in the open and distance learning system. Now let us see what are these different kinds of technological support that we can provide to such learners. First of all, the technology used in open and distance learning system mostly matches with the technology needed by learners with disabilities, like assistive technologies, screen readers, and uh, different uh, the resources in different kinds of formats like Braille, large print, and other formats. All these technologies they can be provided to the learners with disabilities so that, so that they don't have any problem. Nowadays, we have mobile devices with assistive technologies which help the learners convert text into speech and speech into text. So this is a great help that we can provide to the learners, particularly when they are in need of support. Nowadays, artificial intelligence and robotics, these two main technologies they can help the learners with different kinds of disabilities handle their day-to-day -day problems. Artificial intelligence can help the learners with the visual impairment communicate in visualless communication. Similarly, robotics can be used to help the learners who have physical or locomotor difficulties in moving out in the campus and doing their day-to-day -day activities. If we can assure support to the learners at different levels in different types of uh, support through different kinds of formats, then we can ensure the access, retention and success of learners with disabilities in open and distance learning system. Thank you very much.